Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So find dy by dx. Press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do the first one, uh, remember whenever you log one thing divided by another, that's the same as natural log of A take away natural log of B. So here you've got one thing divided by another thing. So rewrite this as y equals natural log of e to the power of x take away natural log of 3 plus e to the power of x. So now we tidy this thing up. This thing will then become just the number, just x. So now you're ready to differentiate. So dy by dx, dy by dx equals, well if you differentiate this it would be 1, take away, and then imagine this is a bubble. So when you, uh, when you want to differentiate log of a bubble it would be 1 over the bubble and then times the derivative of the bubble itself. Well, when you differentiate this, it would be 0. Differentiate this, it would just be e to the power of x. So this gets multiplied to the top. So that would then be 1 minus e to the power of x over 3 plus e to the power of x. So this is your dy by dx. This is your answer. Okay. So now the second one. So the second one, we don't really want to work in, in terms of log, log base 5. So we're going to from here we're going to exponentiate both sides with base 5. So that would then be 5 to the power of y and then 5 to the to the power of log base 5 of this whole thing. Well the point is that this thing will cancel out with, with this thing here. So that would then become uh, 5 to the power of y equals, equals this thing here. Equals um, cos x sine x over e to the power of x times 3 to the power of x. So now um, now natural log both sides. So that will then be y natural log of 5. Remember that this is a constant and this is a variable. This is just a number, it's a constant. And then uh, natural log the right hand side. So that will then be uh, cos x sine x over e to the power of x 3 that would then be this and whenever you log one thing divided by another thing that's the same as that's the same that's the same as uh, natural log of one thing cos x sine x take away natural log of the other thing uh, e to the power of this uh, 3 this and then over here it's y natural log of 5. So now whenever you uh, log one thing times another thing that's the same as natural log of one thing uh, uh, plus natural log of the other thing sine of x and then uh, take away remember that this is one block so we're going and, and this negative is outside of the block so we're going to need brackets here and then uh, here you've got one thing times another thing so that would be natural log e to the power of x plus natural log 3 to the power of x so now tidy this up hang on y natural log of 5 so when you tidy this up it will then become it will then become this y natural log of 5 equals um, natural log cos x plus natural log uh, sine x and then uh, that would be minus well, well this this thing here is just x because um, e look well it's just going to be x and then uh, this thing here a negative and a positive that makes it a negative and then the x is able to come down remember so that would be x natural log of 3 so uh, so it will then become this so now we're ready to differentiate so differentiate both sides so that would be uh, this would be remember that this is a constant so when you differentiate when you differentiate this thing here it will be uh, natural log of, um, of 5 times dy by dx so I'm going to write it like this natural log of 5 and then uh, differentiate this so um, imagine that this is a bubble when you differentiate it it will be 1 over the bubble 
and then times the derivative of the bubble itself which would be minus sine x minus sine x and then differentiate this imagine this is a bubble so it would be 1 over the bubble and then times the derivative of the bubble itself which would be cos of x cos of x and then differentiate this that would just be 1 and then differentiate this remember this is just a number it's a constant so that would be natural log of 3 um, so now um, now if you want to get dy by dx on its own divide both sides by natural log uh, of 5 so that would then be uh, dy by dx equals um, equals oh, I'm I'm just going to do this divide how okay let's let's divide both sides by um, by natural log of 5 so that would then be um, minus sine x over uh, over cos x natural log of 5 plus uh, cos x over sine x natural log of 5 um, take away 1 over natural log of 5 uh, take away natural log of 3 over natural log of 5 this is our final answer okay